Okay, welcome to the weekly web chat with Carl Lewis. My name is Mike White, and I'm filling in as moderator for Carl, who's at the 2012 ASUG Summit in Dallas this week. Mike Hodge will be presenting the first part in a series of financials for SAP Business One. Today's topic focuses on 1099, setup processing, and issuing at the end of the year. Next week's topic will be the month-end close best practices. This meeting will be recorded, and all users will be muted. If you have a question, please submit all questions through the meeting chat facility on the GoToMeeting toolbar. Your questions will be answered at the end of today's session. And without further ado, I will now turn the meeting over to Mike Hodge. Hello, everyone. Uh, hopefully you can hear me all right. This is Mike. Um, if anyone has been to one of these web chats before with me last year, we had a series of seven. We'll be repeating most of those. I like to start out my end of year and beginning of the year with the 1099s because they are um, <clears throat> a little obtuse where you go through and how you set them up, how you process them through the year, and then how you run them through at the end of at the end of uh, at the beginning of next year when you process when you issue your 1099. So I'll go through all of that process with you today. We're going to first start up with how do you uh, set up a 1099 table. Now most of that's set up for you by SAP, but I'm going to show you how you set up the new uh, minimums for the current fiscal year uh, for 1099. Uh, I'm going to go through where you get the forms uh, and how you can use the PLD to modify them if you need to the print layout design so that we can get those forms set up. We'll look at how the vendor master can be set up to make a certain vendor 